In this video, we'll give you a little background of what Lab 7 could actually do. So here's a heart, and let's uh, open it up. It's just a model. Take off the cover here. I don't need that anymore. So in a normal heart, what will happen is the atria here will contract first, and then there will be a delay, and the ventricles will contract second. In that way, the blood will flow from the atria into the ventricles, and then from the ventricles out to the body. The way that happens is via an electrical signal. When the atria contract uh, first, what will happen is that electrical activity will come to this atrial ventricular node, and there will be a delay here in this node. And then after the delay, the electrical signal will come down to the ventricles and contract second. So first the atria, then the ventricles. Unfortunately, with some people, a type of disease is called heart block. And what happens in heart block is this atrial ventricular node here is damaged. So the electrical activity from the atria never get to the ventricle. And what happens is the atria contract at one frequency, at one heart rate, and the ventricles will contract at a second and slower heart rate. And this performs a very inefficient heart. So in order to solve it, what we're going to do is design a pacemaker. And there's going to be two types of leads. Uh, the first lead is we're going to place here in the atria. And this atrial lead here, this atrial sensor, is going to tell our machine when the atria have contracted. That's the atrial sensor. It's an input. And the interesting part is at the output. I'm going to take this second lead down here and I'm going to thread it into the right ventricle down there. And it has a, a trigger, a ventricle trigger. And when this thing triggers, the ventricle will contract. And so what your machine will do is it will look for the atrial sensor here. And when it sees the atria contract, it'll wait that time, that delay, so that the blood can go from the atria to ventricle. It will generate one pulse here in the ventricular trigger uh, to cause the ventricle to contract. So the atrial sensor is the input. When it sees it, it'll wait and then trigger the ventricle. And that's how this pacemaker is going to make this patient feel a lot better. 